This is a headgum podcast. She's going to be pissed at me. Um, you know when she's going to be pissed? Why? Should I go off my meds? Not for the same reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a thing. Wait, 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 wait. Should I go off my meds? I Not for the same reason wait, as you. This is perfect, actually. <laughs> I have takes on this, but I want to hear your reasoning this goes, first. This goes, I have this goes, takes. Okay, I, wait, I just need some shit to respond to. Stop recording. We have a presentation to each other today on why we're going off Wait, 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 wait. Why is this? This mic keeps moving. No, 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 trust me. Mic keeps moving in a way I hate. The episode being called going off. Okay, okay. Going off our meds. I need to tell you the same reason as you. I already, I, yeah, you want to go off because you're like, I'm fine. That's not why. You think you know me. Tell me, look <laughs> me in the eyes. <laughs> why? No, I want to go off because I'm scared. I know, I'm not going to write good enough music. Oh. Whoa. Oh, show. Whoa, girl. Let, no, that's, that's I fucked up. I have tits on that too. Yeah, okay. absolutely. Okay, right, let me, let me go on my fucking, fucking rant. Last time. Let me go on my Hello. fucking rant. Wait, can you guys leave? Please record. Yeah. Here, Julian Baker. I'm going to touch you. I touched you. <laughs> um, you can touch me. You. That's okay. I, I'll touch you later again, too. I'm a fucking doofus. That's fucking What wild. happened to you? <laughs> Listen, Josette texted me. Oh, the peck room. Can uh, I read? I, I kind of want to Yeah, yeah, you should read the text. Yeah. Josette text texted. Exchange. So, you, I know you had a, a morning of going on a walk and having wild thoughts. No, but I've been thinking Josette about this for a while. Josette texted me individually not, before the group not text. Not like wild thought, just zooming. Just really? so much espresso. Like my heart is beating so fast. This is why I'm on medication. I know, but I guess what? I filled in the blanks. Can I read about that? I want to read Josette's yeah. text Let's first. Hear it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, lo- I love this. <laughs> <laughs> these, these sex are sent okay these sex are sent within one minute of each other I love this so much they're both sent with Siri so just keep that that's in mind. how I text those little smiles and I face. love them both the, the <laughs> second one made me laugh out loud should we next year enroll in some online school classes together like on a subject that maybe we could try to tie into something for the record this is a funny thought but I wonder if it would be nice to do some structured learning one minute later Guys, have I always been this stupid? <laughs> or did I get stupid after we had COVID? it COVID. <laughs> oh, God, Siri, Siri did me dirty. For the first time? Or did I get stupid when I got put on medication? LOL, I am stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Dog. Dude, I love that guys. so much. I, love now I, I didn't you. know that Siri did that with COVID. COVID. <laughs> COVID. <laughs> yeah, I only text with Siri. Also, keep flag when we got COVID for the first time. <laughs> I guess I've only had it that one time, actually. Oh, God. But I need to know, like, was there a moment this no, morning where I, you were like, no, I, used to... I have been feeling stupid for a prolonged amount of time, and I listen to myself on this fucking stupid podcast. I love okay. this job. <laughs> um, and then I'm listening to myself, and I'm like, God, where did, where... I mean, I know I struggle with speech because of a different learning specialty. Yeah, this would be special. Thank you. I needed that touch. <laughs> learning specialty. <laughs> That's a little Italian <laughs> thing. <laughs> you guys, I, I, I know uh, I I mix up words, but it's because of that other thing in my brain. But special. guys, I've been I know I've been smart in the past. I still think you're smart. I sound like a fucking <laughs> idiot i feel like i've been having this conversation with a lot of my friends is it because like with loose and fi- i don't know i don't know if it's it's phone i have <laughs> yeah this part mm-hmm. of the, i don't want to say i feel like i it is. say everything is the phone but it is though but i'm like <laughs> this is a trisket that rules Trisket. my life. <laughs> I, like i okay fucking like i look at it for like people like whatever like people look at it to go on dates and like find people to be intimate and have mm-hmm. sex with and mm-hmm. to get their politics and to get mm-hmm. their like funny little videos of animals and it's all coming out of the same like spigot and i'm like that is not it's not right. shit is not supposed to be compartmentalized like that is also not supposed to be if i start talking about this it's gonna be like the whole podcast no, no, we but it's just like it's go. overwhelming and then i think it makes you feel like well and i also think it's normal like as you get older to become dumb no, to recognize <laughs> how little you know. Yeah, like I well, thought yeah. I was fucking smart in when I was like seventeen. Yeah, mm-hmm. and like reading what is to be done, I was like, yeah, totally. I am gonna I spearhead the revolution. Yeah, and then I'm <laughs> oh, like, that was a good feeling. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was so fucking, ri- but I was also like full of terror. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, and mental. They illness go hand in hand. And now I'm like, full of yeah. terror and powerlessness. Yeah, but there's totally. like some acceptance. That I gotta work in there, or else I'll straight up die. Yeah. I think I'll the, just I mean, evaporate. Yeah. The the do you like self more? 
No. <laughs> Do you like self more or no? I don't. The specialty? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm more patient Met with me. myself. Mm -hmm. and yeah. then, or like I'm more patient with other people. Yeah, that's And nice. then like relinquishing control of other people makes me feel like, oh, I'm actually not even super in control. Like when I think about stuff that has happened to me or situations I've been put in or like environments I grew up within or structures that I'm like embedded in mm -hmm. i'm like oh i have i can control how i respond but i can't control like the information i'm getting or like even you're talking about like phones i'm like this is theoretically a fire hose of information but it's also like curated to what makes me a marketable data mm -hmm. source God. and exchanger mm -hmm. so i don't even have the whole picture yeah i'm like i don't i just like realizing the sliver of awareness that's available to me yeah totally. and like how subjective it is right makes me have to like take everything with a grain of salt and then when i have but also back to your thing the first text you sent was so pure and sweet oh well yeah i yeah, want yeah, that yeah. i want yeah. I, wa I, i think want... that's the 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 like and then you're like oh i'm dumb for this yeah no no it's not or dumb like for i'm that. dumb in general no I, <laughs> i have i feel like i have brain fog like yeah. I do, I feel That's like what... I have less. Uh, I I I can't recall like I used to be able to like have recall. Well, okay, dude, that that is my. I'm like, there's two. There's more information than this could possibly hold. Being like, I don't know. I feel like I, or like before the last ten years when like social media platforms and stuff like exploded. I'm like, what you were able to take in, even in media, was smaller, more focused. Yeah, totally. Granted, it w it didn't have, like, theoretically all these sources of the individual. I also think, I'm like, what's crazy about, like, the thing we were talking about, about being observed, or, like, when you're less aware of how you're being perceived, it's easier to be present, is that, like, even when you're not in a performing field, I feel like the entire, like, how life is structured individualism makes you feel like you have to constantly be managing other people's perceptions of you. Well, that's social yeah, that's media. That's what I'm saying. And I'm like, Dude, And like, here's the most effective way to do that ever. For every single person on, on earth. earth. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. fucked up. And I'm like, actually, I don't think it's the worst thing ever to get, like, not to completely self-efface, because then that's a whole other, like, Lisa and I talk about that a lot. Another way of controlling it. Yeah, ha, Christianity yeah, is totally. like, you actually don't exist like, or matter. <laughs> yeah, but it's like, just get, Like, being, like, right-sized and subsumed in a community is not the worst thing ever. Like, not to constantly assert your own individualism. Mm -hmm. I But mean, then... yeah, the, the, the like, it, this, have you seen, um, have you seen Can't Get You Out of My Head, the Adam Curtis documentary series? No. I feel like, oh, I feel like you're gonna I'm watch text you a link. shit and then Wait, go it's really space, good. It's so. text you a link. Adam Curtis... He's a dog. He he made also what's the other one? Hyper normalization, yeah. dude. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Phoebe and Lucy make fun of me so much because I'll be like at a party and then they'll walk by and I'll be like, "Have you seen hyper normalization?" Totally. Okay, that shit. That shit's we changed. watched that when we were making the last record, and we somehow like sometimes we do crack together and we're well, like, "This is like, gonna tie in." With the <laughs> this also, it's like it's when we're gyrating on each other's asses on stage. <laughs> yeah. That's that's really when the theory sort of get, becomes praxis. <laughs> well, I think it's also just like we don't want to work. Like all the time, and you're like, yeah. what's something productive? I barely also, because we're addicted to being productive. No, too. here's the thing: I barely want to work at all. <laughs> Am I a workaholic? Sure, but I don't want to work at all. Yeah, like that, ultimately, oh, that's God, the truth. You guys were so far. <laughs> no. Well, there's, it's there's just like an idea in in the in Kinky out of my head that like is just the 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 development of the individual as like. I don't know, developing your individualism. In, As, in, like, supreme to your existence. Yes. Not the interconnectedness it's, it's, it's of you. It's capitalism, the, though, it, too. You know what I mean? It is. It's particularly yeah, a that's, neo, that's, that's it's, why. It's neoliberalism. Yeah, like, it is neoliberalism. Yeah. Fuck this! God damn it! You want to know, know what I'm thinking right now? What? How we were all just having a conversation about being dumb, and then my internal dialogue for the last, like, It was minute boop, and a half boop, has boop, been boop, like, boop. Katie, pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you can remember that if you uh, saw the documentary or not. I don't know if you watched this you one You know or what not. it was you about. You didn't see it. You okay, see thank it. God. Jesus No, Christ. we watched the other one together, and then Naomi watched this one and sent Katie, me the link. think of something that was in it so that you can say, so um, people know. Um, 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 the country China. <laughs> God damn. Um, okay. No, this is so funny though because wait, but so why do you <laughs> you want to get off 
do you do you no, are you I'm like you want to get off your meds because yeah. they're making oh, yeah. you feel I, I dumb? I don't know if or... it was because of COVID too though. I just feel like I have. Do you want to start eliminating COVID. stuff? No, You're I don't know allowed. what I want to do because I actually, to be honest, since I've become on the medication, <laughs> I'm much better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like I'm not, so. I'm not going on the, I'm not going on the walks thinking like. <laughs> Being a manic you used robot. to just be so so locked in to like your schedule. Well, yeah, and, and it would get trigger the shit angry. out of you if yeah. you, if it wasn't. Yeah, you if you were, couldn't five, stay on top of everything. Sixteen loops around the Rose Bowl. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you were living like I was, um, you were, I was, I was in hyper normalization. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was hyper hyper abnormal. Yeah, <laughs> hyper <laughs> hyper abnormalization. Yeah. yeah, I don't know though. It's like also I do think that a lot of people when they're on medication the thing is i am better i am not as angry or upset and manic but i am so stupid <laughs> no, but i don't i don't know but dude i just feel like i'm in a little bit of a haze wait is it possible anya and ali do you guys feel stupid too <laughs> constantly I, no I have, but I but co- but covid but you guys think i it's was like gonna say is it because of our, us touring is but it covid <laughs> 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 the like, stress of what we all are like still living through it's just like constantly taking Hell. up a part of our brain that otherwise would be dedicated to being smarter but instead yeah. we're like am i in danger is everyone around me in danger am also I friends okay? mm. i'm like specialized skills like okay yeah i only you're getting God. obsessed with that. one thing <laughs> well no like having to do a million things yeah I'm yeah like, dude no it's not like, it's bad. I also don't want to come off sounding like a Luddite or like I'm going to join like a Mennonite cult. We, but we need but what more if of we that. Should? We, need, we, do need, <laughs> we do need more people but who like, are, reject, reject this. <laughs> but I do reject it and everybody tells me People're that I have it's a problem. It's bad. No, no. I'm like, everybody, and everybody's like, you're avoidant to communication. And oh, I, really? Or like, you're, or like, I don't know. I just, I will miss things that make me feel like an irresponsible adult. And I think you're a brave hero. Adult? Yeah. <laughs> you're a good <laughs> yeah. responsible, this specialty redoing <laughs> adult. Uh, <laughs> but no, the other thing, I'm like, okay, yeah, we lived through essentially like a globally witnessed through instantaneous media bubonic plague mm-hmm. yeah, again yeah. where yeah. like mass people were dying and then we were all like gotta get back to work and then went back to it and while we, it was still happening yeah. and then we were remember, all just like i guess that's fine do you remember the period where we kind of thought like the revolution was upon us because of covid like yes. it was yeah like, I, I had a moment of hope. change and that's why i feel so also just like where all this fucked up shit is happening and i'm just like nothing's gonna change like i'm like nothing is gonna change because if covid didn't change it didn't change it and like how many people were actually like going to protests and like trying to do fucking something i'm like nothing's going to I have a dude. It's because of the individual welfare. Well, yeah, absolutely. Because, individualism is yeah. well, like the individual welfare as supreme to the community welfare mm. is a trap because then they'll give you a little or like the idea that like a platform owned by a billionaire, like fucking Twitter or Instagram or something, is gonna give you is selling you the idea that you're like asserting a cause or that it's just a conduit through which you can convey an idea that's not getting transmuted is making somebody money and also it's making you feel individually responsible for like the revolution or your part or your take being mm-hmm. important instead mm-hmm. of like you contributing to something else instead of and organizing because well, your reality is bisected you... like your reality is completely bisected yeah we live two realities but they like, give you the a time. little spot it's like they give you a playpen to be like this isn't fair and then they're like Oh, okay. How, did you have fun? Yeah, yeah. but you have fun? nothing, it's, nothing but fucking changes, of, but and they're just like cackling behind the dude. like servers, being like, "Dude, but that's why we have to." Honestly, this sounds fucked, but also our livelihoods are tied to this. We need to boycott social media and boycott goods. That's the only way change happens. Because if not, it's like they're like, "Go do this." In this playpen, Yo, I mean, so then you don't be do like your little feelings. Like, Post I, your yeah. fucking shit on the thing that yeah, make, we will yeah. use to make us money yeah. to buy more fucking recycling credits that don't exist because yeah. it's just like moral exchange of wow so that we can go in here for 20 <laughs> minutes i i am <laughs> so sorry i really no i really hear this critique but i also know that it's like it's really in funny my, on in there. organizing circles it's like 
I have to use like WhatsApp. Well, or of course, to oh, talk of course, to of course. Oh, yeah. Like, I think te- I think we also ha- it, we also do use useful. it to actually organize. You know, We're... texting I think is good. Generally, I think texting okay. and FaceTime are good. We can keep them. And the only thing no that is good about phone. Instagram, like, like the well, girl I'm that you posted there has yesterday to be a limit or whatever, to... Bison. Yeah, yeah, Bison's great. Who's like actively giving real information when? That our information is controlled by all the media conglomerates. Like, yeah, in yeah. The US. Like being able, there is that's the like the radicalizing the original idea of the internet as being this like radicalizing force. Like it's going to connect everyone. We're well, going to yeah. be able to. I we're going to be able to have free access to like information that's not controlled by all these you know but all these b- big media companies. But then immediately, obviously, that was so replicated long as it's online. private, it's yeah. just digital property. Yeah, exactly, it's just yeah. virtual yeah. property. But so that's not a problem with technology. That's a problem with privatization and capitalism, right? Like it's yes, a problem. Yes, with- yes, 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 but yes. then I also think it's like the conceptualization of everything as globally like interchangeable. I'm like, mm-hmm. that's why I think you're right. Like the texting, FaceTime, I'm like. In an anarcho-communalist model, uh-huh. <laughs> like yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean, it. like when you like living in direct community. We were talking about this the other day, like yeah. living in direct exchange community with people you can see and like that you can understand nuance in their lives. You can provide physical, tangible, informed help to people. Yeah, I'm like, I don't. And then there's something to be said of like what you can become educated about, like. I don't know. Help me with this thought. I'm like test driving it. Yeah, like no, you can become totally. educated about like what's happening in Maine or what's yes, happening yeah. in like Palestine or what's happening in uh, Ukraine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then it's like, can you tangibly like then deciding that you want to participate? Is it more like I building s- a community of like um, like a multiplicity of centers where it's like there's a bunch of localized like support networks. There's, yeah, it's like nodes. Yeah. yeah instead yeah. of yes. one convergent giant well, yeah. thing. Reality. That doesn't work. There's an amazing <laughs> book that everyone should read truly. It like, okay, before I this this book will um have some some thoughts that will appear as Captain Obvious thoughts, but like a lot of it is so good. It's called How Modern Media Destroys Our Minds. <laughs> it's it's an, it is an amazing book. And basically a lot of it uh, there's a there's a section of it that's about like how we do have access to all this information about what's going on in the world, but they describe it as like you are outside of like a glass box with your like hands on the outside of a glass box watching horror unfold all, mm. all around the world, but yeah. you can't do anything about it. Yeah. Like all Which you can reinforces do is see it, an idea. know that it's happening and feel alienated from it. And then it alienate. I my thought is that further than that is destructive to your immediate physical community because mm-hmm. you're straight up looking down into your phone, overwhelmed, paralyzed by something that is happening on the other side of the globe, mm-hmm. and then you are fearful. And like the guy, like the like an unhoused person on the street That's becomes right pariah. Like then yeah. you're not engaging, or even not even community. an unhoused person, just in another person who's going through like an emotional crisis, mm-hmm. or a yeah. person who needs like patience or whatever. Like you're then caught between trying to grapple with a scale this big of global need, and then also balancing this like weird self care rhetoric that sometimes can be paralytic yeah totally. like, you know what i mean yeah i think i mean this is, sounds funny but like um to go back to like watching the, the adam curtis documentary and being like this is going to be connected to the album like a word that came up a lot when we were doing the last like press cycle for the record was agency and like how uh transformative it can be to like have a sense of um there being something that you can do to like change life for yourself or the people that you love that are around you. And I do think like what I do worry about this idea of like um, just despair that I see like yes. with like, oh, well, nothing's That's going to change box. because it's like that is what interacting with technology and interacting with like activism quote unquote in this way is doing to us is, yeah. fi- is giving us a feeling of like we don't actually have the ability to affect like make change and there's we do there's also like here my 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 thoughts on it now are like we have these platforms forced upon us if you have a if you you 
it is somewhat if you if there's information worthy of sharing to share it but i don't be, i don't necessarily believe in like infographic culture as being ultimately helpful at all i think probably the best thing that we can all do if we are able to <laughs> is like if you're going to engage with online activism to whatever extent run people some money if that, you have I money agree. Yeah. I just agree. run that, people money because guess what's Straight fucking up, helpful yeah. Money, money. running yeah. people money. <laughs> I mean, yeah, what else? You, like it. me, I, I don't know. Like I feel like my community online, whatever that means, like people that follow me, we probably all have 99% yeah, you don't need the to same make a politic. I don't need to like, you know, finger wag at these yeah, people. Yeah, 100%. Like, but maybe some of them are fucking rich, you know, like yeah. uh, the least you can do is like, or the act- the thing that's actually helpful in a material reality is fucking money. Yeah, like, yeah, no, I agree. Well, but I hate then to I say also it. think that there's this like delusional idea of like social capital that's really like totally nebulous well, that and delusional. difficult. And so people like I hear a lot of people honestly, like since I moved here, I was also gonna say the thing about like how did this tie in? But like it, like everybody's always like a little bit working. I'm yes. kind of like yeah. I feel yeah. kind of like a little bit working. Well, it's also I'm, well, well, nobody's ever socializing. fully working. Everybody's trying to make work. Also Chill. a little treat. Oh, yeah. But people Work are also trying to like, have y'all read that Gia Tolentino? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh she's my God. So the amazing. always optimizing thing about when oh, she's at the sque- sweet green being like, amazing. was this my destiny? God. I she's can- the best. Shout out Gia. Yeah. Gia wrote her bio. I accidentally. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. She, she, she was unbelievable. She's listened, so dope. I listened to that essay. I listened to it while I was doing a hit workout. That- <laughs> <laughs> it's I, as I was doing do. it, I was like, "Wait, <laughs> oh, squatting? Hold on a second. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it was really that is so up. funny. Anyway, uh, uh, but there, it's, it's uh, but wait, like they're the tricking in... you. Yeah, there. It's like I don't know who they is. I'm always I'm, they. The, they, they, they like, Adam like, Curtis they, as well. They are like, tricking you. Yeah, <laughs> the society, the state, the yeah. state. <laughs> who started doing like the this? State. I think first you or Phoebe. Um. I don't know. I think it's in our like sh- like now we have like a, we all have a shared lexicon of yeah, mannerisms, yeah, and it's yeah, impossible that. to tell. It's so no. cute, but yeah, it, it's how friendship works. You lose the origin, but you know, you know yeah. the meaning. You let your identity <laughs> become shared. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, but I, maybe I don't that's exist. good. Yeah, I think it is good because it means you have real friends. Yeah, tell us your childhood. Oh, we're going my back. childhood. Yeah. <laughs> At the uh, beginning, like all at the it, beginning, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, I was born on so, September. So, 29th. in this podcast, would you like to talk about all, all your trauma, or would you like to talk about the dumbest shit that could ever be thought? Yeah, this is <laughs> complex. We didn't even go to the. We didn't even. We just really. We, we hopped, didn't even intro- we hopped, introduce. We skipped and jumped. Yeah. No, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, on on this pod, we normally do childhood through the lens of what, what do we normally thinking. Do? We do normally do. Say some of the dumbest shit anyone's ever heard. We just that no, could be sorry. both. That like, could be the same thing. It's through the lens of like realizing maybe gay if gay. Um, yeah, one realized gay. Like one <laughs> realized gay. Yeah. <laughs> and um, like early, I'm like, do I need to know all the questions? No. no, no, no. Just like if there's like for me, there's specific like early memories of when I first had a thought breakthrough that was like horny gay. gay, little oh fuck, and then like of, oh, fuck. immediate like shoving it back down. Mm-hmm. I know also that wait, were you raised religious or did you find Jesus Christ both on your own? Hell yeah. okay. I was raised like uh, traditional, like I don't know. We went to like a Baptist church and then we went to a evangelical church uh-huh. but my parents were Whoa. like cult like very culturally religious okay. and then like everybody i guess culturally religious and in in practice like and you got where did you live i lived in memphis tennessee okay Whoa. i was born there and raised there until cool. i went to college cool. and then i moved to right outside of nashville yeah um so then like yeah i was raised i'm gonna say up until like second grade like going to church a whole bunch and then my parents kind of were doing their own thing and had other shit to deal with and like unmet emotional needs. And yeah, uh, as it is, as it is. <laughs> uh, and then I was just kind of doing my own thing. And I none of the cool kids believed in God, so I was like, "Yeah, God's not real." And then I like my OCD self. I'm so susceptible. I'm like, it's a miracle I didn't join a cult. join a cult. Well, I. 
Mm. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Did I join I a cult? I got you. Um, I got you. And then I got like straight edge and really into like rock church at the same time. For sure. What's rock church? Like rock, like rock church. Rock church is like like songs. Hillsong type shit. Yeah, yeah. exactly like Hillsong. Yeah. Cool. Like there was a kid at youth group playing like. Um, Hail to the Thief, and I was like, I, I play guitar. And then that was my whole... And honestly, sometimes I'm like, for all the fucked up shit that church instilled in me, it did make me good at gigging. Because <laughs> totally. people would call... I played the straight-up worship circuit in Memphis. Like, so many of the call, best musicians I know like come from gospel. Because they, you Leland, learn... Right? You yeah, learn... They like give you a chord chart or you learn numbers. Like That's what, how I learn Nashville numbers. Oh, okay. Is like they'll just be like one, one, five, whatever, like stupid music school shit. Yeah. But then you have like 12 hours. Like I'd get a text on like Saturday night. Like, do you want to play at First Evan or do you want to play at Bellevue ba- or whatever? Um, I never played at Bellevue Baptist. That was just the first church that came to my head. <laughs> Important because they, so my uh, Bellevue Baptist had that uh, gay rehabilitation center called Sick. Love in Action oh, in absolutely. Memphis. What an insane name. <laughs> Love in Action. Love have y- y- in Action. Have y'all in seen action. that uh, movie? It was a book too, uh, Boy Erased. No. That mm-hmm. is about. That's crazy. Love in Action. Was I Troy had- Sivan in that? By any chance? Is that what? the one he was in? No, I, I think thought Troy Sivan in... was what? Australian. He is, but I think he was in a... a... No, no, like... Oh, he no, but Hillsong. There. Hillsong's Australian. Yeah, Hillsong is. I, I wonder if he was... I don't know. Yeah, I mean the movie. Mean the movie. Troy yeah. Sivan's Jewish. But I think... Well, he oh. might have been in <laughs> Boy Erase the movie. I didn't know he was Jewish. Yeah, he is. I didn't know he was Jewish. Yes, he is. Why so hot. Um, exactly. <laughs> Precise. Yeah. Um, that's so cool, though, that you... It It also reminds me a little bit of, like, you know when people... um are like in recovery and they're like you know like my acting out like my drug use like did a lot like served me a lot you know yeah. like yeah there's like some parallels for me of like hey that was like a place to go absolutely you know? yeah like it was a place to go and then also i'm like i'm glad i was straight edge because if i had had like a di- like if my relationship to substances in and out of using and abusing uh, drugs and alcohol had been differently paced my life would have just looked a lot different so yeah. I was like definitely like a judgmental straight edge kid with a stick up my ass how, how just long like, were you oh, edge yeah. until 23 whoa oh, wow. I was edge in high school for, wow. a, for a spell you were? And, yeah oh, oh, yeah, I thought yeah you dude just, I was out here listening to Half w- Heart being like Dude, I know. Born this way, die this way. Fuck Sorry, me, I love dude. you Pat. I think like not. I was straight edge until like <laughs> maybe I was this is it's insane to be straight edge when you are a literal when child. you are cannot buy I was when like it child. was easy as fuck for me to be straight edge because I had no way to get a <laughs> handle of substances there was no way you were going to get it so <laughs> yeah. might as well be like, uh whatever like, I don't want it anyway <laughs> but when you, yeah punk san, a lot of people who are in yeah, like hardcore Diego. punk scene San Diego shit you, you that makes it, sense it was it was a little bit edge it was cool to be edge for a hot a hot second there. Yeah, that's um, why the term when people started saying second. "edge lord" on the internet, it's I was like, like, "Wait, what does that mean?" Yeah, I got confused too. I was like, "Is, is you mean like they're what a minor threat?" Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I, don't know, I do. I could not. I tell don't know you. what the new one is. Edge lord is like when you're. Ma- I I would I've describe it, it as like sure. you're an incel who has sex, <laughs> but you share all the same dumbass uh, ideas. Is it like edging? Oh. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know, man. Uh, not, I think it means choosing. you're just like a dumbass. Okay. You're okay. just like a provocateur, maybe in a in a you're like a political provocateur. Oh, yeah, edgy. you're like you're, you're edgy. like, you're yeah, like edgy. You're on the ed- yeah, yeah. But yeah. like you're edgy in the, the boundary. But yeah. you're yeah, you're like you you're it's like you're like ironically, but also not like a right winger. Yeah. <laughs> but you might run in leftist. Oh, pe- people that are like like have like libertarian takes and it's like no yeah or like just... socially conservative shit no, or like like stop saying stop saying socially not you I, no but i know like, but in general stop I know. saying financially well, because it's the funniest thing in the world it's like guys you, that's, yeah, that's literally the opposite well and it's all to imagine that there's that a those things i know only yeah. the rich people or aneurysm. like the white guys you know what i'm saying wait have y'all seen that show beef I mean, yes. no, but I've heard it's. Oh my god! When it just seems uh, like it would be what is her character's out. name? Where she's like, did you ever notice how like the people that are like money 
is secondary to everything are or people rich. with a lot of wealth. Are people <laughs> yeah. who have a lot of money. <laughs> like, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, wait, but this is remi- yeah. the Edge conversation Fuck. is reminding me that the first person who like introduced us to your music was our original drummer. Who was Edge. But Scott he had Heiner. a heart condition too. He, yeah. he, d- we told you that he emailed your manager or whatever. What? Wait, <laughs> Scott, I'm totally outing. I swear to God, we maybe told you this. Like, when we were in he college, loved you so he loved much. you so much that he, yeah, like, Scott emailed Scott your manager listening. being like, I could play with Julian, but I could, like, play, like, Cajon or, like, Tom. some Tom. Like, so he wanted to play like, whatever. Auxiliary He's Tom. Like, I can hear Auxiliary some Tom yeah. is, like, a... So cool. That's a lane. Is Scott I coming on like Saturday? It's my favorite track on my Ableton <laughs> template. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is um, your favorite. Or Clave. Uh, Scott is going to be in New York. Uh, but so uh. we played, I think I've told you this, like we played South by in like 2016 or 2017. I, it was our first yeah, South by and you years. were playing, um, what fucking venue? Um, something. The church thing? No. The no, it was no. like an actual venue. We played there too. Was like, it when Lucy played as well? I don't know. With the big disco I, ball? I don't know. I played man. straight up a hundred shows. As That's like a... I don't want to say boot camp because I'm trying to get away from using like but weapon that, and uh, South military. By, South by is. South by is like. It is. Or it's like you a. thrown to the deep end. It's like an obstacle course. They're like, yeah. and now carry your 50 pound pedal board across gravel and up three <laughs> flights of stairs. Set up as <laughs> yeah, fast as you sorry. can. Like I, what? I, it's like I, I surviving. Refuse. Important people will be listening. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> they might give you like they're just dangling a I record know. contract. Like they all have like, dollar bills in the yeah. audience. Yeah. Ooh, that's maybe. exactly like a what, matador yeah. with a Snatch signed it. contract. That's like, what yeah. everything is when you're first starting as a musician. You think everything is the most like, and well, they tell you it's the most important thing. Yeah, I was really well, struggling that South by. You don't know. That's the thing too. Is like you. There's no like. You don't like go to undergrad, go to law school, pass the bar, apply at some firms, yeah, yeah. and then you find your path. You just like Whoa. are w- throwing <laughs> shit, or like you don't like go to med school. Yeah, there's no, there's no route. Attending. Yeah, there's it's no well, route. and the trajectory isn't like this. It's just it's like, you, you know, keep I'm fucking. I'm kind of yeah. laughing at the idea of you knowing every step of the way it takes to become a doctor. <laughs> my both my parents were in the medical field. Me, me, my dad's a doctor. Yeah, yeah. I feel like. I, you know that uh, meme of Pete Davidson and whatever that lady is, and it's like me explaining my uh, partner explaining to their family that I am a musician is my real job. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> like she's like leading him out of a thing. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's me. That's me talking to every person I see who you doesn't just say you're know. an accountant. Oh, sometimes I'll lie though, for sure. I'll say I'm in sales. Joe is or my worst. So it's I'm not a, a lie. Yeah, it, yeah. It, you, you've been you're, really thinking about me that way. Oh, my yeah. God. Oh, no, Joe's just no. really good. At Joe's business. good at math, and I'm genuinely stupid. Well, no, I'm so. just, I'm just scheme. I mean, like we, you know, we're a small business, and I, we got a scheme. And like ten like, percent, as opposed I'm to twenty percent, the worst in the long small run, business of all time. Talk to I think you're doing pretty game. well, actually. Yeah. <laughs> From the outside, From the outside, it looks such. pretty fucking good, dude. Yeah. yeah, it's a facade. Yeah, I mean, as, <laughs> as is all. As, as is, is all. Yeah, as no, is I'm about to multi level marketing. My, I'm about to out myself for my worst. A fantasy lie that I tell when people ask me what I do okay. is I say I tour, and then they'll be like, "Ah, oh, you play an instrument," and then I'll say what I did when I was in college, which is I like set up line arrays and like plug. plug Dude, I'll sometimes say shit. I'm like just that. like yeah, I don't like, want to be because I don't like, I don't want to engage with a. Well, and then also I have like a lot of shame around. Yeah. Like weird, like bootstrappy, like working class totally. shit. But mm. then also, I'm like, I'm definitely not loading the truck, so I can't really say that. Or like, I had this experience on my last solo headliner tour where my TM was like, "I know that you think that you're helping load the trailer. Mm. It would help us if you just sat yeah, your just ass oh, that's on such the a bus." Weird moment. And I was just like, <laughs> like my h- heart shattered yeah. inside. Exactly. I was like, I can no longer way. be tangible. Yeah. yeah. Actually, <laughs> you have your... to accept your role. Well, but like, that's the type of shit, like, uh, this is crazy, but I have a friend from Atlanta who also went to, uh, what is it called? Like, fucking Passion Church or whatever. Okay. And was like, yeah, there was a mission trip that we went to and we're like building houses for people in yeah. Africa. And at night, all the kids would go to sleep. And then the people that lived there would have to tear Go down <laughs> oh my god <laughs> it's like as soon as isn't you say that, that as soon as you say that i'm like of fucking course like isn't that well, sad yeah. that they were like here's here's you cosplaying to the nth degree 
how to be helpful and build a house with no knowledge of like how to use a square or a level or a yeah. fucking table saw like yeah. no fucking knowledge it's like oh, goodwill on God. its own the community is like these houses well, will that's kill like us. a thing that's like a whole thing <laughs> so though, with, like, you have to tear them down it's like rich kids do like, like yeah, yeah, like, like, exactly um, yeah but God it's just like damn, that like yeah the um thinking about like how to be actually helpful it's a lot of ego deaths. Honestly, yeah, it's that's like, like run them their money. It's like that. I mean, honestly, just it, pay exactly. people Again. on your team as well as you can. But yeah, I also that, that, straight that, up. 100%. But then I 100%. also, I also, the opposite thing to that is, I am like, uh, uh, money, like cash, is not the only capital. Like you can't just keep increasing someone's. Like somebody that works for me, I can't be like, like I feel like there's a certain amount of like, I can't, if my dream was to open a five-star restaurant, I would have to know how to properly clean a cast iron. And I would be willing, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. I would have to know how to do that. <laughs> like, I I cannot just be like, well, I'll keep paying you out of the wealth that I accrue from my lucrative job. And even if you have to be on like a red-eye flight and be up for like, like there's a certain point where that stops being capital, and then there's like emotional capital, yeah, and yeah, like absolutely. comfort, yeah, and we, like shit that you can't equate out to. Like, well, totally. they're fairly compensated because I think that's how people yeah. do the shit where they show up to a restaurant. And they're like, it's their job. Totally, I want to throttle. That, that's each my. And that's every like one person. of my biggest pet peeves. Yeah, on a date, I'm like, it's over. Yeah, it's, absolutely, it's over right now. Absolutely. If you say that, that's their job. Well, yeah, I mean, oh, I think, God. but but it's hard. I'll eat the wrong order. We've talked Same. about this a lot. It's not so, a bet, and then people I'll eat the wrong it. order. I'm no, serious. No, wait, I'm defending myself right now. I don't know. It's the 500 coffees, but I feel like <laughs> I have been on in so many interactions where people are like, "You have to stick up for yourself." It is okay to want what you want. <laughs> you can send the order back. And then there's like a woman who's like clearly worked a double like <sighs> and I'm like there wasn't supposed to be chives. Yeah. And yeah. she's like I'm like can I just let it go? Like yeah. some shit you can, if I it's can scalable. If Everything I can is it off. If it has <laughs> like <laughs> meat, if, if it, it has meat or something on it, I won't. That's well, I don't eat that's meat. Like that's like an fair. allergy or a dietary restriction. If yeah. it's like some shit that I just don't like, I'm like <laughs> no pecans. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't fuck it. like <laughs> yeah, totally. everything's not scalable. Yeah. To everything else or like everything's not symbolic of like you're infringing on my I have a right yeah. to yeah. send this back oh my God. I'm like dude just eat the fucking the only thing I, that will I, make me sad in a restaurant sometimes is like and this is why you have to have strong women in your life <laughs> because you need to have strong you know what it is you need, you need to have need strong, strong white you, women you need strong you need strong <laughs> white ladies in your life <laughs> folks, or strong Absolutely. women in general you need strong I, white need, women who, they who were need, told yes you can they need, <laughs> they're strong Shout out to all the strong ladies out there you are sticking up for us because what I need a strong woman in my life to do is to say um, excuse me. They ordered mac and cheese as a side, but it has not come yet. Like yeah. that's, that's like one, sometimes my biggest fear. The only life. thing, okay, I, I have you. two things to say. The first thing is, you really gotta take. We try to take good care of our employees. We do, I think, a good job. Yeah. And the second thing is, I won't say things at a restaurant, but if you're trying to fuck me, that's the only time I will really. I love <laughs> They are trying to fuck me. Dude, you know this. Dude, they're okay, trying you to fuck Dude, have, you have like the, the white wait, wait. slash dyke the, paranoia. The, the server. server. No, no, it has nothing to do with the server. Just talking the, about like contractors. On a date no, I, I have, just talking about I, I have someone to do who's with, giving like, you an estimate for a job. If someone where it's like, I, I have to, okay, so it's like I'd never do this at a restaurant. This is more of like sticking up for yourself in that way where I'm like, I won't allow any of us to get taken advantage of because someone thinks that we don't understand something. Yeah. That's real. Oh, no. Wait. I feel this, though. This I is feel like the, if I feel peeps. that you think I'm stupid, yeah. even if I don't know shit about plumbing, I'm just like, I can tell you think I'm stupid. Well, oh, but yeah. sometimes it's no, paranoia. No. And I have oh, they, to be real they do careful think you're stupid. I have like little dyke. <laughs> like, I know. You're fucking talking to me like I'm dumb. Yeah. yeah. yeah and yeah. I have that like going on in my brain constantly but sometimes i'm like wait no you actually do sometimes it's stupid. real well, actually, I think a lot of the both. time it's real i think it's both i mean you gotta just also it's like you know it's you it's what you're willing to do or willing to not do are you willing to get multiple estimates yeah or are you tired and you don't care you know what <laughs> sometimes i mean sometimes i understand not caring i don't but sometimes care. people spend so much money 
like our unnamed friend did on their backyard. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. yeah, where it's like I'm doing that. I'm spending a lot of a money choice. these days, left and right. I'm get. I'm. I'm just. But spend, when you I get money care. and then you're like, and you've not had money, and you, then people just come and tell you what shit costs. I'm mm-hmm. like, that's a scam too. It's like if you're because I feel like no one is cheaper than like rich people. The gener- generationally would. Rich people. Yeah. Generally, like, I have rich like, people I trying can't, to split can dinner. Confirm, <laughs> can confirm. Can confirm. A rich person I dated a generally. God I dated a generationally wealthy person. Cross class. And I was like, cross, cross, uh, cross love. the way that they were always thinking about money, I was like, you don't know that a life of broke existence is possible. <laughs> like, yeah, you don't, you're fine. afraid of it because it's never happened to you. And I'm like, like, but when I got a little bit of money, I was just like, sure, that seems like it should cost $300. And it took me it's a minute like to start banana. being like, wait. Yeah, the Lucille yeah, Blue. Yeah. The, yeah. What, how much could that banana cost? Yeah. $20? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Rest of Development, <laughs> best show. Wait, but has not been topped yet. <laughs> yeah. I think about that all the time. But then also, I've done that before. Like, during the pandemic, uh, I had a little side hustle where I cleaned offices on Music Row. So I'd, like, be what? wiping off. Yeah, so I'd be, like, wiping off the CMA, like, Country Music Award from the guy who wrote Fancy Like. Yeah, with little Windex, just like what? Yeah. <laughs> shit. Why did you cleaning you know? off Sam Hunt's gold records or whatever? Damn. The fuck? <laughs> oh, God, oh, damn. God. But then they'd be like, "How much was that?" Like, like they just ha- they'd write like the cleaning company or the woman that I worked for would just be like, "I'll pay you however much," because I just charge them. What are, they're like, how much could it cost for a day of work? One thousand dollars? Yes. <laughs> or like, here, you were here for six hours. Here's four hundred dollars. <laughs> so I just be like, <laughs> correct. To be Thank honest, you. though, like yeah. that's shit. Yeah, I thought you were like, say like, the opposite. That's, that's no, no, no. That no that I'm like, work is under. I was like, this is Lucille Bluth hours. Y'all not knowing how <laughs> yeah. much how yeah, much work yeah, I put totally. into like Swiffer. No, but yeah, but I like that. Okay, so I for like me, that, there though. are times where like I know. Here's the difference between you and I think it probably has to do with like a difference of like I, I do come from generational wealth and I'm trying to be aware of what I thought you were yawning (laughs) (laughs) that would be (laughs) (laughs) interesting wait 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 (laughs) (laughs) like literally uh, eyes rolling back sometimes when Um, we are bored of something we will go okay no but this guy (laughs) this guy who I really like um who has done some work for me in my house? Like, I know, I low key know that he's overcharging me for stuff, but it's like but you just let he. Yeah, I'm just like I don't oh, actually but sometimes, care. But sometimes you should. But and it's then, like out wait, of goodwill. This, it's but not this like does a remind ch- me of one time. Okay, I got my windows replaced in my house, and it was um, <laughs> x amount of money to do. Uh, it was like four thousand dollars something. Like I had hey, to pay. Yeah. I wrote, wrote a check. Um. I accidentally oh. wrote this man a check. <laughs> I remember that. For that money you don't have. <laughs> not kidding. $40,000. $400,000. $400,000. I wrote so lucky this man that a he check. He did not, you know. <laughs> I did every this time. No, I get it. to go through. But this I'm like, guy, do you have a Venmo? Because every he time I called me, check. He called me. God bless him, nice Ernie. Guy. Thank you, Ernie. <laughs> and he was like, I've got to come back to your house. <laughs> God damn it! Because you did something crazy. <laughs> yeah. Um, but the guy who overcharges yeah. me, he was working that day, so I think he. So and I told him about it because I was trying to learn Spanish. So I was like, "How do you say that?" Cuatro. 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 Extra zeros. Extra, okay, okay. The number was normal. Crippling ADHD. But <laughs> yeah, I, here's what happened. I was trying Violent. to have a conversation with the man as I was writing the checkout, Word. which turns out is too much Impossible. for me. <laughs> so yeah. I wrote ADHD. out like the actual amount correct, but then I wrote 400000 and two hundred dollars or something like that. Like I just wrote an extra. 
hundred. I wrote an extra hundred in the word part. The word that, part is hard. That's even funnier <laughs> somehow than like <laughs> that you oh, had to write a couple like, words. It wasn't was just a couple thousand. extra zeros. It's like you went through with yeah. it. You were like four hundred. No, not hundred. Well, at thousand. least I didn't write thousand. Four, <laughs> wait, if I wrote four thousand hundred, would that be the same? Four thousand no. hundred. I don't know what you. That did. would be. I, I don't actually understand how it was possible. Four million dollar check. They tried to take this illegible check to the bank. Sometimes it's like you hit a new low of of functioning and you're just like that is impressive yeah and on i on i go about my day <laughs> like, okay well now i, mean, I know i can matter. do that you know it didn't matter piece of yeah. fake paper what they but, do? but the thing is it's like that guy the guy who works for you or whatever he like works hard and he does exactly. a good job and it's like you care about him and like yeah. it's more of also it's like okay i don't like it when someone tries to take advantage of it's like naomi and i we had an apartment oh this was a, we this, this was is, a, we're talking about a conglomerate of fucking slumlords. I know. Slum Adaptive lords. realty. Adaptive Name realty. Name Say that. You guys, you guys are slumlords. Um, anyways, we were moving out and I, we, we cleaned the apartment. Naomi's mom painted the apartment. We painted. We did so much work Good. to Mom's make sure we would get our security deposit back. And then they email us back saying, it's like, you guys didn't do like all these repairs. We're only going to give you back like half of it. And I was like, no, you did not. We had this place professionally cleaned and painted. We want our full security deposit back. And then they emailed us again and they're like, oh, so sorry. We made you, we made a mistake. This is actually how much um, we're going to pay you. And it was still like not all of it. And I was like, that is not true. You did not do this. I have photo evidence. Like, do I have to take you to small claims court? <gasps> Yeah. Not small claims. <laughs> no, I mean, they, they weren't going to do anything. They else don't have the time. But then, wait, wait, wait. I'm also like, I feel backed into a corner because I'm like, oh, you don't want this to get legal. And then I'm like, I don't who is going to pay for <laughs> no, the attorney? Right. I will but, be but representing myself. <laughs> yeah. No one's going to pay for an attorney. But, but also, wait, like, you, guys, you don't have to get an attorney to go to small left. claims Sweet. court for the shit. Anyways, I'm you don't. Fun. You have a lot of rights as a tenant. I know, but we have to ask Julian gay questions. Yeah, all right. Julian, how did you know you were gay, bro? We just assumed. Wait, dude, are you gay, dude? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm not gay. Uh, <laughs> me neither. Dude. And then what I'm words do it. you ha- have? Words? That yeah, you, you use? say special, dispecial, dispecial, <laughs> dispecialty. Um, oh wait, no. Okay, so this is interesting. Me dodging a story about my life with like a yeah, like, dodge, like, linguistic dodge inquiry, like dodge it hard. One time, I was on an interview. I was like fucking 19 years old, and I was doing an interview on like my first record. And they were like, you used the word homosexual. Have you ever thought about why you use that? Because technically that's a, that's like a, and it's just because I grew up in fucking Memphis and like gay. That's just like the scientific factual term. And I was like, oh, wait. And then now there's like the whole like gay, queer, like Mm -hmm. um, word. There's like a connotation, denotation shift. Mm-hmm. In what those mean? Yeah, totally. I don't know. I'm a queer person. Yeah, yeah. Sure. I'm queer. Yeah. I'm not no- normal, but also being <laughs> yeah. queer You're just could special. be normal. What? Yeah, I'm like I don't know. I think everybody's a little queer. Like that's my yeah. shit. You I'm gotta like, unlock like, the mind. You gotta unlock the <laughs> You're mind. You're saying I'm I'm gay. You're gay. <laughs> Ladies, you are gay too. <laughs> Ladies, you guys gotta unlock your minds. <laughs> Ladies, ladies, ladies. You gotta unlock your mind. mind. Uh, Everybody's a little gay. You know what would be funny? (laughs) (laughs) It would be funny if instead of coming out to your parents, little gay for me. Instead of coming out to your parents, you just told your their your parents that they they weren't gay. gay. No, that they were not gay. Oh, Oh, okay. I have to tell you guys something. You guys are. You guys are not gay. You guys are not gay. (laughs) And it's really hard for me to have to tell you that. That I wish that was. And then they'll just hope that they're deducing then they're like that you are. They start crying, they're like, damn. No, that's the shift in reality. Out. Yeah. Yeah. That's oh, what, if, that's if, how if gay, gay was normal. Yeah, you yeah, tell like, them y'all they're not gay. Y'all are straight. Anyway. I do when I came out to my mom, it was during a fight and she was like cool. she, I do that too with my stepmom. Yeah. She it's it's a classic. I don't know why I felt like it was like a, it's a power Did move. you dispense it as like a well how, how about this? Yes. <laughs> like well cuz my mom was like uh, she had found out that I'd gotten a tattoo underage and she was like, you know, you're always like, you know, I don't know, disobedient or like obstinate like yeah. you know, disrespectful and I was she's like, "I know who you are." And I was like, "You don't know anything about me. 
I'm gay. And then my mom, without missing a beat, goes, I know. <laughs> Legend. Dude, dude I gotta be honest. I gotta be name. honest. There's no coming out. You know what I'm saying? If you're actually gay, there is no if coming you are, out. That's not true. It's not true. If, if you're, but it, you're, I know what you mean because you mean if you're not fat. Did I ever come out? I was gonna say, mm. it's true for y'all. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. Fair. Yeah. I was like, my girlfriend in high school yeah. with the like fucking acrylic nails Yeah, I think some people you have like, to come out. I'm gay and her mom was like, no, you're not. Okay, wait, 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 of a girl who lived in Chicago suburbs named Katie. <laughs> no, so what was Katie gonna ask? What were you gonna ask? What were you um, gonna did ask? you have like? Did you have a crush on a fictional character or like somebody on? What TV? about like an animal? Or an animal? <laughs> Wait, y'all talk <laughs> about this. <laughs> y'all talk about this. Wait, no. We and then uh, me, Phoebe, and Lucy were talking about this because like Lucy's whole thing about uh, not being a, like. Having a crush on like the goofy, like the poet from oh, the yeah, goofy yeah. movie yeah. because it was like a hot, like a fuckable non-binary, animated, yeah, yeah. Animal. I'm trying to think of like who did I have a crush on. I don't think I had, and this is interesting too because I'm like, I think I more was just like, I want to do boy shit, which includes yeah, totally. saving princesses. Yeah, yeah totally. totally, totally, absolutely. That's part yeah, of the job. Is All part of the job. Be, be with my top off. Saving the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> so simple. Yeah, have you guys seen the Swan Princess? The guy with like the oh my kind God, of like, yeah, dude. Look, look good. So in a way, it's almost like you had crushes on like the figures that you wanted to be like when you grew up. Yeah. Yeah. Really so and then Fuck when I got, me. because I didn't know, I like, I wasn't out here just being like, you're pretty until I was in like middle school. Okay. And then I was Still like, pretty early. Yeah. And then I was like, oh no, I think I'm in love with one of my really close friends. Mm. And then I was like, no, absolutely not. And so I, then I had like a bunch of boyfriends that we would just like sit next to each other on a beanbag and play Halo. Cool. That's fucking sick. Well, because like I ideal. was the littest girlfriend they'd ever had. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. I totally. was just like, do you, you want to go to Taco Bell and play Halo? And they were like, <laughs> yeah. They're like, this is my fucking dream. Dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. I was like, <laughs> we're going to get married. This is so amazing. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> yeah. And then I would date a boy for like a year. That's and so just rad. Be, like chase. I'd be like, oh no, the Lord. We can't right. have sex because right. of the Lord. That was a yeah. good one. I know. The classic. Yeah. And then as soon as I, I found out I was anymore. gay, I was like, well, I'm sinning already. Did you I ever did, but tell this is fucked. The girl that you were in love with in middle school. No, but I came out and she was like, I see. Oh. You know what I mean? Because like I came out in high school, like tone? years later, like mm -hmm. we, like grew apart, and okay. then. I came out and she was like, uh huh. Yeah. And then we were not. She was really doing math close. in her head. She was doing math. She had the Zach Love and math. math in front yeah. of her face. Yeah. Um, Wait, you came out. When did you say you came out? I came out. I like, but it was like staggered. Like, so yeah. I came out to my friends when I was like 14. Rad. Hell yeah. That's and awesome. dude, I came out to my friend. But then also, I was like in a bro. I say this all the time, but I was like, weird like a weird like variety of queer where like i came out to my bros who were in the like pop punk house show scene mm -hmm. i literally came out to matthew gilliam shout out matt he's coming mm -hmm. and oh, he yeah. plays music with me still and i was like i have a girlfriend and he goes okay <laughs> <laughs> and then we were just like supposed to have band practice and he was like yeah. Okay. <laughs> like, Shall but then practice? I got, but then I think that the conceptualization was like, now I am a boy. Cause then oh. they, like, like my dude friends would be like trying to talk about boobs and shit with me. And Didn't I'd be that like, happen to y'all? And I'd be like, yeah, and I, I don't, I, I probably engaged in the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I engaged, I might have engaged in a conversation or two myself, Joe. Sure, okay. sure an educated conversation <laughs> around a table with friends I thought, is to be expected I thought, when you have a I specialty. Thought, scientifically <laughs> speaking, <laughs> the shape of the bosom, <laughs> <laughs> they can be sort of. <laughs> 
But also, <laughs> but it was like that. It was like that. And then the only lesbians I knew were like three years older than me. And like they were like four wheeler, like backwards fox riders hat yeah. lesbians. Uh-huh. And then they all like basically all joined the army. Whoa. Whoa. That was a type, yeah. Whoa. That, that I, well, I'm like visibility too, for well, because the ki- so like I'm just gonna talk about my queer best friends when I was in middle school and they were in high school. Didn't do really well in school. They felt ostracized, they were really smart. They got kicked out of their house early. Mm. Their partner went to Love in Action and would talk about it like a fucking Vietnam. It was crazy. They were like, we're not allowed to look at other people. We have to wear these weird suits. It was crazy. And this is just like two women that live in or girls that live in my neighborhood. Girls, children. And uh, so then I'm like, well, no fucking duh. You like get out of the house at like 17 or 18 and you're like, I don't have a scholarship I don't feel like I fit in. I want what the government dangles in front of me as a free ride to college and a paycheck that is literally the capital of my body. Yeah. And so then, like, they all joined, like, went to Afghanistan. It was, like, fucking Fucking nuts. It's nuts. And I'm, like, that is the lesbians I knew. And then I moved to college to get my little audio engineering degree. And then everybody was, like, like... You don't have to shave your legs. I'm a vegetarian. Listen to Y Oak. Like, totally. you know what no. I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, different, yeah. Sure. different brand that yeah. I had just did not know existed. I was like, I will become a boy. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. And like, I don't know, man. It's just also, it's like suburbs of Memphis. Like, I'm sure that there were other people doing other shit, like, in different pockets of culture in my town. I just wasn't at them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Don't just start <laughs> crying. <laughs> I just keep thinking about fucking going to war. Do you, do you, oh, is it that crazy? Called, do you know a band called Straight from the so Path? Do you know do that? I ever? Hell yeah. Do you know that song where the, the before the breakdown, it's like, what would you tell your recruiter if you had to tell him one thing? And the guy's like, fuck you. <laughs> yes. Bum, 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 the fucking rad. Go listen to Straight from the Path, guys. Fucking cool. Dude, stuff. that uh, Make Your Own History record just goes so hard. It's so. Hard. Dude, they're insane. They're so good. They're very good. I love that band. Very like leftist fucking Rage Against the Machine type hardcore punk stuff. Goes. They are, but then like, it's all it's like really highly produced like yes. new metal, like, yeah, like almost breakdown. It's, it's funny like how new pop. metal is that though. But oh then God. like it sounds but good. then they're saying shit like Fuck class please. war. Yeah. 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 And you're yeah. like, oh, okay, okay. It's tight. It's really cool. Anyway, um, did we get to we kind of got to some questions, didn't we? Yeah, we did. I think that's a, I'm just I like, and then they all went to war, one. and then that's it for the yeah. podcast. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, god. But then, but then you no, went we have to some college time. and didn't go to war. And you didn't go to war while you went to a different Fuck, you guys. I know. I have the opposite Fuck. of survivor's guilt for uh, like unrealized gay potential. Damn. For all of my homies. Oh, yeah, dude. Fucking, I mean, it's just true, dude. I'm just so like, fuck. that's why, like, sometimes I'm just like, I don't know, it feels kind of weird to be like, I don't know, I wonder about, like, people at my, or, like, folks at my school or from my childhood. Pretty much everybody's proud of me because they're like. You made it out. It's like yeah. M- Memphis. We were all, like, in this big of a bubble, too, mm-hmm. just yeah. being, like. I, I literally used to clip out, like, reviews of my band from the Memphis Flyer and, like, mail it like, physical copies to, like, no sleep records and be, like, mm. like, before there's an EPK, it's yeah. just a PK. Yeah, yeah. It's totally. just a press kit. Oh, yeah, and I was just, had, like, we did some envelope. Yeah, at we did some envelope, envelope stuffing. A, yeah. de- a demo, and I'm just, like, yeah, it had, to, it worked, like, for one of us, and it's, like, kind of a gamble and kind of luck and kind of persistence and kind of whatever. Yeah. And then I'm just, like, yeah, nobody ever told those motherfucking just like fox rider four wheeler dykes yeah. that they could do some shit like that. Well, it's also yeah. just a trip. Like, what? How old are you? I'm 28. Like, the difference that even such a small amount of time, like you being in middle school and those people being in high school, like, it was crazy how much things changed between like 2010 and 2020. Yeah, because it was like totally. they were selling it's fucking whiplash. I remember going with them. Like, they would drive me down to the fucking what was that store called? American Apparel that had the like mm. vote yes or yes. no on yeah, Prop yeah. Eight. Yeah, no yeah. on Prop Eight. Yeah, God, um, fucking God. Dude. And I was just I like, remember. oh yeah, my mom threw that shirt away of mine. Wow, damn. And then like, so fucking crazy. Well, like I think also because 
I don't know, whatever. That's a little bit more complex of an avenue to get down. But like, I was just like, yeah, I was like watching that shit unfold. Like mm-hmm. I was watching them go to like pride marches and be like, what is that? Yeah. And then there's yeah. like my friend Alex and like chaps. And I was like, oh, okay. Like it's starting to get like a little bit of information. Like as far as they were willing to self-realize yeah. was like a door for a younger me. So I yeah. think about that a lot too, where I'm like, I'm burgeoning on obsolete every moment. I'm closer to it. So I better just like fucking throw some oats in the young people gaze. Yeah, totally. Dude, young totally. People. Young totally. People. I had in my the, the young people syntax gaze like yeah, br- just disintegrated here. right there. It's, it's our, here. It's, just it's fucking what we do to here. people. Yeah. No, I feel like we did a really good job of covering a lot of ground. I feel like we didn't talk about like specifically gay shame that much. Which... We talked about radical other stuff. We, yeah. talked about, uh, we talked about this shame of using this. The phone shame. Phone shame. We talked about, I mean, we talked about we a lot. Talk, there's shame. Uh, there's yeah. shame in there's the shame. air. If you, listen, shame. If you air listen back, tonight. you'll find that shame is embedded in almost every moment of, <laughs> of, com- of our conversation. Fuck. Um, thank you so much for coming on. It was my pleasure. We love you, dude. Honor and joy. Um, do you want to, do we have time to rate a review? Yeah. yeah. All right. This, this, is is a, this is a five six. star review from Burnt Toast Sunday called Totaled My Car to Gay Attic. I've read this. Oh, yeah. yeah okay. Go ahead. Yes, you read that right. Fuck. I do I do no. think I am the first and hopefully only person who can say that they have, in fact, totaled their car while listening to Gayotic. To clarify, it wasn't my fault. A deer sprang in front of my car oh, while I was no. going 80 miles per hour yeah. on, the interst- on the interstate. <gasps> I'm glad it wasn't worse. Oh. I was on my way to the Kansas City airport to fly to all things go. So no, not only can I say I was listening to Gayotic, I was technically no. also on a, my way to a Muna show. Damn. Holy it was shit. a horrible. It was a horrible experience, and now I have no car. It's a good story, though. What the fuck? <laughs> this oh person God, is so radically sorry. positive. <laughs> hope, good story. Hope, hope y'all see this because I could use a good laugh. Love y'all. Be safe out there, chaotic listeners. You never know when a deer will decide to crash the listening party. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, awesome. son. I it's love you guys. Not, it's not your fault that you totaled your car, and we're but really sorry. We everyone, love you. don't touch I love you. I'm glad thing. it was a deer that didn't gore you because yeah. that happens. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. So I'm glad it wasn't a moose. Why are, um, I feel like, let's okay. make it worse with intrusive thoughts of how it could have been bad. Um, <laughs> yeah. You gotta get out of here. Yeah. Here. Thank you all. I love you all. And I love you, Katie. Thank you so much, Julian. I know the people have been frothing at the mouth for this episode. The so rare holographic welcome. member of Boy Genius yeah, that yeah. you can't <laughs> get in touch with by phone because it <laughs> nice. scares me. Yeah, the ho- <laughs> <laughs> we love, we love, uh, we love Julian. Wait, I love Julian. I, I love myself. In. I love you, Naomi. Bye, Katie. Love you guys. Uh, I love Katie. you guys. Katie's left. Thank you for being on. Love myself. My, pleasure. my name is Josette. And now you have to tell yourself you love yourself. I yeah. love myself. My name is Julian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was a HeadGum Podcast.